Pairing up two double factor pied mutations like these led to this, the world's very first red African grey. It was bred by Henny Deirdrex in 2007, only nine years after the controlled mutation breeding program was started by Fonk van Antwerpen. Fonk originally thought it would take approximately 14 years to reach his goal of a pure red African grey. This eight week old chick was born from a clutch of three eggs. The first egg hatched, the second egg was lost and this bird was the last to hatch. At birth it looked exactly the same as any other African grey chick except it had a white bill with a white tongue plus white feet and toenails. It could easily have been a pure white bird. It was only after four weeks that its breeder Henny Deirdrex could see that he had bred the world's very first pied red African grey. Its feathering is beautifully scalloped which is way beyond that both its breeder and Fonk ever expected. Its underwing feathering still needs to colour up. Here you see the chick at 11 weeks old, with its sibling on our right and a young unrelated double factor pied mutation on our left. The pupil of its eye is a normal dark grey, which is exactly the same as the other two youngsters. And to quote avian vet Dr. Terry Martin from Australia, who is one of the leading experts in the world on avian genetics, he said, One thing is certain, these red pies are, so far, unique to grey parrots and may one day help us to understand the genetic control of colour morphs in a more complex way.